Okay, we're going to be reviewing how to determine if a number is even or odd. So um, let's go ahead and get started. You need a whiteboard marker eraser or a piece of paper, something that you can write on, okay? So make sure you have those supplies ready. Also, if you think that I'm going too fast, remember that you can pause the video. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here I have the number eight. I've got a T-chart ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be counting out eight dots and I'm gonna go one to each side. So we practice this in class, so here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna count how many I have here and write that number down. And then I'm gonna count how many I have here and write that number down. So I've got one, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, four on this side. When the two numbers are the same, when they are the same, we say that that means these are even. They're even, it's an even number. So the number eight is even. Okay, when I talk about it in class, I talk about cookies. I'm like, um, so you get four cookies and I get four cookies. So that's even, it's fair. That's what an even number is, it's even. You can divide it into two equal parts. Let's do another one. Okay, so now we have the number 13 and we're gonna do the same routine. Of course, this time we're gonna count to 13 and then we'll stop. We just have to remember to stop at 13. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and stop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and count each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six here. Okay, seven and six are not the same number. And because these two numbers are not the same, that means that 13 is not even, it's odd. That's how we determine if a number is even or odd. It's pretty easy. Let's do another one. Okay, 18. Okay, so have it ready to go. And let's get ready to count to 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, that part was easy. Now I'm gonna count each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have nine there. So nine and nine are the same number. That means that 18 is even. You're probably thinking this is so easy, Mrs. RN. You're right. Let's keep going. Let's do another one. Okay, we've got the number 11. Set it up and get ready to pass out those cookies. 11 cookies, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And stop, count the cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six and five. They're not the same number. That means that the number 11 is odd. Because if these were cookies and I got six and you got five, well, that's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, I'll be happy because I get an extra one, but you might cry, right? No, you wouldn't cry. Let's do another one. 20. Now, I put this number here on purpose because... Um, I bet you guys know what half of 20 is already in your brain. 
You don't always have to pass out the cookies if you look at the number on the top and you know that 10 and 10 are 20. You don't have to pass out all 10. If you can do this and you already know in your brain, just do it, just do 10 and 10. And when I do that, I already know that the number 20 is even. So we don't always have to pass out the cookies if we can do it in our head. And by this time in second grade, I'm guessing you already know that half of 20 is 10. Here's our last one, 12. Some of you already might know what half of 12 is, and that's fantastic. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just count it out, okay? So here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, there we go. Now let me count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll get really fast at this. It's pretty easy. Six and six make the number 12 even. All right. That's how you determine if a number is even or odd between zero and 20. And we'll learn more about even and odd numbers as we go through our school year. But if you were successful with this lesson, pat yourself in the back, thumbs up, and you're already ready for success.